Where to first? We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfine. I'd like to go. Mimir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Krasfelder. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he told off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Mimir, what exactly did you promise the Lars Bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. It's just that she'd like to retire. Retire? Hell's Eagle wants to retire? Indeed. And don't ask me what she expects to do with her free time. I assure you, there is no reassuring answer. Can she <laughs> do that? not be Hell? Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become Hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather. Infinite hours and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> Well, if there's more of these Asgard fragments out there, the Einher Yar will continue to be a nuisance for the realms. Only if we do nothing. The realms will never heal if they remain. How many more? Only one way to find out. Fancy a riddle. If you fancy a boot to the head, riddle solved. <laughs> There's another of Garm's realm tears nearby. Riff. 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 Riff.
Closing the rest if you are, Kratos. Follow me. Strange. There are still signs of the World Serpent all over the lake. But we saw him disappear at Ragnarok. I can only mean the legend was true all along. That blow from Thor sent Jormungandr straight back in time. A younger Jormi, fresh from Jotunheim, would grow into the serpent we know. When we first met the snake, you said that he found a trace familiar. Perhaps they met in Jotunheim. Perhaps so, brother. We'll have to ask the lad for that story when we next see him. Since Odin is dead? They are soldiers. They will always be loyal to him, alive or dead. It is a matter of honor. Yes, they will continue to follow his orders and keep the realms under his... Not for long they won't.
circling back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them, I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, word gets around about that sort of thing. Preferable to silence at last. But I've read a day. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been one in my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. Enough. We what is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just mm -hmm. uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in Neither Valir. We will be there. When Jormungandr attacked Thor in Asgard, it seemed personal somehow. But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? I've been pondering that, and I have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. Perhaps the serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? Exactly! Though that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yorm even remembers after all this time who he once was. Ah, another fallen piece of Asgard. Something seems a bit different about this one. Different? Dunno. I've just a funny feeling. Your analytical mind knows no bounds. Hang on a minute. Is this a prison? It would seem so. Let's continue. Might be something useful inside. <sighs> this place goes deep. We should head downward. Ah, yes. I'm sure there's nothing especially <sighs> dangerous at the bottom of an Asgardian prison. <laughs> You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. <laughs> If the Ain Harriar survived Ragnarok, perhaps some of the inmates did as well. Let us find out. There must be a way to reach the lower levels. Just need to find a way down. Huh. <laughs> 
Recognize him, Mimir? I do not, sadly. Of course, the Ainher Yard disappeared a fair few dwarven rebels during the occupation. I suspect this is one of them. Another chain. Shall we find out what this one does? Why, that's the dwarven sound device Sindri used during the Battle of Ragnarok. We might still find use for it yet. Huh. 
I don't know. A gardener, perhaps? Dream Shade is difficult to keep alive, even under the best conditions, but this... He gave all his strength to keep it alive. Then it is right. You should have it. I can't believe it. Wait, that can't be. Lord Tyr. Is this an illusion? No, brother. No, I think it's the real deal. Mimir? Is that you, old friend? In all the important ways, aye. There was such a commotion. If Odin learns what you've done... Odin is dead. The realms are at last free of him. You're safe. Odin's dead. And Asgard fallen. So the reign of the Aesir is truly over. That's quite a lot to take in. And you are. 
His name is Kratos. Kratos? I, I know that name. Come. You need real shelter. Food. No. No, what I need most now, I think, is to reflect on what you've told me. I need space, if you would grant me that. Very well. Our home is in the realm between realms for the moment. You can find us there when you're ready. Kratos. I know you from somewhere. I'm sure it will come back to me. Until then. trust anything after what we've been through but with Odin gone I have no cause to doubt it our paths will cross again of that I'm sure where to now Well, now we know what this prison's for. This is where Odin stashed those he would camouflage himself as. Makes sense. If you're going to imitate someone, you wouldn't want them walking around. Why not kill them? He must need them alive in order to assume their form. Aye. Odin likely wanted Tyr dead for a multitude of reasons. But he knew Tyr would be more useful alive. Your god of war has truly returned. What now? He'll want to stretch his legs, I imagine. Imprisonment stokes wonderlust. Not that I need to remind any of us of that. See what I think they said. Yes. Our lives cut short. 
soul sinking deeper until gathered up. I believe anything. Acolyte of Odin's. Very secretive. Trusted with his dirtiest deeds. Never met her myself. I suspect the raven tree isn't going anywhere. Just in case there's anything else you'd like to do. To Vanaheim, then. Sounded like Lady Sif managed to convince the old boar to shelter the Aesir refugees. It was his idea. Oh? To foster peace among the Vanir and Aesir. That's brilliant. Shifty bastard must be trying to prove he can out-diplomat me. At least he's not convincing her to marry someone, like some other diplomats would. <laughs> A deservedly low blow, your majesty. Anytime. That's a realm tear, all right. From Garm. Are we going to close it? Last song.
Something is on your mind. What is it? Freyr's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freyr had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. Enemy behind you! <laughs> Behind you! Asgard destroyed. Where will the Einherjar go? Valhalla exists both inside and outside of Asgard. Who knows what became of it? Aye. Suppose they'll have to find rest somewhere. Kratos, Freya, welcome back. Let me hear. Lady Sif, Freya, it speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, your majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanir's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Einherjar. If they'll help us rebuild, they're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I imagine a severe lack of options for the ACR helped ease things along. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. A hundred winters of Mimir bleating at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Oh, the stories I have. Really? Do tell. Well, everything appears to be in order here, diplomacy administered, and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? Back to it, then. Where can we set up the farmsteads and the granaries? We don't do that kind of thing. This realm provides us what we need. What if the winter is harsh? You saved them, Freya. I did nothing. No. I did nothing. Scratching tally marks into a cell while the world ended around me. You returned to your people. You endured their hatred. You helped them become more. Freyr and his soldiers... They survived. They endured. But there's a reason the tide turned when the goddess Freya returned home. Your love of this place. I can feel it. Smell it in the breeze. Anyone can. That love makes you strong. Makes your people strong. That's why you won. I... Thank you.
I'm glad we can help these Ainharyar on their way, even if they hate us for it. They do not need to spend their afterlife serving a cruel god any longer. Agreed. Freya, you spoke of your brother's sword. How did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one. Odin uh, disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. This separated Freya from his sword. <laughs> oh, with embarrassing... You pause there.
I look forward to exploring Alfheim and not having to fight elves. Oh? What makes you think that's an option? They've united, haven't they? What possible reason would they have to attack us? Sorry to say, but there are still plenty of elves out in the Barrens eager for conflict. But... why? Freyr united them. They fought together at Ragnarok. For those who have spent their lives in combat, peace is not always an option. Time to get back to that story you asked for, brother. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Aye, women, drink, mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She pleads for their assistance for fear the currents would carry her off as she tried to cross. The laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and fords back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries, how could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? How could you break your vow like it was nothing? Carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony! The laird just smiles. Brother, I sent that lass down across the river. Tis you that carries her still. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. I there, Dan. I wonder how many of these fragments of Asgard there are. A realm's worth at least, so I'd say we have our work cut out for us. I 
else I recall about that Greek play I mentioned, if you won't take offence to critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. It might have been nice to see more events dramatised instead of described. It is Greek tradition for a story to unfold in a single time and place uninterrupted. If you say so.